welcome you guys back to the channel. So today I am waiting on my computer, my main computer, to update. So I decided I wanted to do just a really quick drawing, sketch of a character um, in the spirit uh, of the season. <clears throat> of course that being Halloween. Working on Canson paper today, toned, um, utilizing a Blackwing Palomino pencil. So hopefully everybody's having a great Day. I've got some bleed through here. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to roll with it. Bleed through being from the other illustration I did yesterday. If you guys follow my channel, you guys know that I did a short seasonal illustration yesterday of a zombie creature. And I did that traditionally as well. I love doing traditional work. It's just one of those things that really. I don't want to say speaks to me, but <laughs> um, you know that's kind of where I, I started out was uh, traditional um, artwork, traditional drawing on paper, and you know I, I came uh, into the illustration field and art field right whenever that transition was happening from traditional to digital. You know, back in the late nineties. <laughs> <laughs> early 2000s and yeah so I still have a really big attachment to traditional artwork I primarily work in pencil and marker but occasionally I kind of branch out and I do other things from sculpture to uh, you know carving <clears throat> and whatever you know really kind of tickles my fancy at the time it's just one of those things that I just love doing. So basically right now, just drawing, sketching. Not having any kind of real plan here other than do something fun, something festive. You know. Maybe it's a little girl monster and she's holding her, have that hand come around. Yeah, whenever my computer is <laughs> sort of out of commission, you can't, you know, and you're trying to you know, do stuff for the day, you just... You know, I have other computers, but, you know, my main computer, my Mac, that's what's updating right now. <clears throat> okay, working on that road map here. Blocking in some of those shapes. And you see I'll go really broad, like this whole shape right here, since it's being moved right here. It's maybe a stuffed animal. Thinking about weight. Get that other arm that comes up like this. You know. It's a dinosaur. I haven't decided yet. Keeping things simple. There we go comes around here. We get that leg. Again, gravity. Gravity's affecting. Okay. Maybe it's like a zombie cow. <laughs> and those of you who are questioning about the Blackwing Palomino pencils, the Blackwing is a company that manufactures pencils. I think they're based out of, um, where is it? Uh, it's not California. Nebraska. Anyway, it's somewhere out west. And they're expensive, um, but that's not the reason why, you know, you should consider them. I consider it because I have money to throw in the garbage. No, I, I think you should consider them because it's a good pencil. It uses, I believe, Japanese graphite, which they ground it down to an absolute infinite amount of powder. 
and they don't have a lot of artifacts, artifacts being in normal pencils. You'll be drawing and you'll have a hard piece of clay that sticks in there. Black wings don't have that, and I believe they use um, either cedar or redwood for their, um, for their wood. And of course, the trademark little uh, eraser that they have, square, not round, and it's you can take it out and you can extend it whenever it wears down. As you see, I don't really use erasers that much. Not bragging, not bragging. It's just the reality. I like sketchiness. I like having a lot of sketchy lines and, you know. Why do I do this? Well, for one thing, I had a few minutes and I just like drawing. You know, a lot of people struggle with that basic principle of creating things and creating and drawing and doing that. And for me, it is a separation. Separation being it's something that I use to separate myself whenever I'm having, you know, some issues. Or if I just want to sit down and enjoy myself and, and it's my time, you know. One of the drawbacks of having, you know, or having or utilizing this particular uh, pencil, and I believe this is the really soft one, is you're going to get graphite on your hand. You know, that's just something that you got to <laughs> live with. You know, it doesn't bother me too much. Okay, so. Have her little hand come around. She's got her thumb. One, two, three. Comes here. She's got her PJs on. I don't know. Maybe webbed hands. Don't want to have too big of fingers here. You know. Okay. And this comes around. Still drawing light. Still haven't gotten into that area where I'm really landing on a particular sketch or a sketch line, a particular line. But like up here, I know the eyebrows are going to be nice and firm, so I'm going to go ahead and block those in. Good. Horns. Come around. And you notice I'm not, whenever I draw, I'm still not utilizing that detail, um, you know, that detail stroke. I, you know, detail stroke being like this. If I were to go ahead and start fleshing this in and do redetailed, I would start using my wrist a little bit more and my fingers. But right now, I'm still in that sketch phase and I'm drawing from my arm. My entire shoulder moves. And what that does for me you know, it gives me a little bit more freedom to think in large shapes. You know, everybody's going to draw different. You know, I've seen people utilize, you know, stuff like this. This is your mechanical pencil. And they'll sit here and they'll, you know, they'll noodle. You know, they'll do like this and do like this. And that's their particular style. You know, there is no, I, I hate to say it, but there is no really right or way or wrong way to quote unquote draw whatever gets the job done. That's what you need to be most interested in for you. You know, if you learn, if you learn to hold your pencil like this and you've been doing it like this the entire life, then who am I to say, you know, or who is anybody to say that you're doing it quote unquote wrong? You know, you don't ever want to change something just for the sake of changing it. If it's inhibiting you in some way, sure, you change it. But, you know, 
I'm doing what I know works for me. So you definitely, in the context of drawing, do what works for you. Okay, one, two, four, five, flowers, two. For those of you who visited me yesterday on my channel, you see that my video was missing a large portion of the illustration and and my apologies for that my iPhone malfunctioned it's the second time it's done it and basically what it does is it records the time duration of the video like if there's 45 minutes of drawing but about six seven minutes in it stops recording what is going through the lens but it continues to record time and it just freezes like it'll have my hand and it'll freeze and it'll show that for the remainder of the video and I'm not really sure why it does it but you know what are you gonna do I mean no use being upset just make the change and move on mister and that's what we're doing today today I'm working on a Canon uh, working on the Canon HD camera and it seems to be working pretty good I like it it's got a lighting a little bit of a lighting issue so my apologies if it's a little grainy but you know I've got it on its best setting the best that I can do have that come back a little bit I'm still utilizing my arm I haven't really gotten into the details yet Okay. Okay. All right. Now we move on to her feet. And you notice, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and concentrate solely on her feet. I want to think in terms of context of the illustration. I want to think in terms of weight, balance, form, and I'm still thinking of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw down through the stuffed animal because I know her arm comes around. Here's his hand that just comes up. Her hand, and I'm going to have that come around. So there we go. So her foot, her left foot, is going to be facing out a little bit. Have these claws coming out. Ground plane. Okay. Comes around, and here's the inset of that foot. And a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll get back for a second because a lot of the weight, you see this, this this gesture line comes down. It's an invisible line, but it comes down and she's got that weight. Now, I think that's a little bit too high. <gasps> I'm erasing. I just said I don't use my eraser that much and here I am using it. <laughs> Who are you? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> okay, so now I'm thinking about the tail. So the tail probably starts middle of her back, so it's going to come down a little bit more. And what's going to happen is you see she's leaning this way. That hole comes around like this. And now I'm going to have her tail balance her. See? We're going to watch out for that tangency. Okay. See? And now what that does is she's waving. And her little pages. Kind of like this. Okay, so I've got our hair coming up a little bit right here. I'm going to go ahead and modify this a little bit more. So much erasing. 
There we go. Okay, even that little area right there where her tongue is helps again define that form, having that height, the width, and the depth. I'm gonna have this bow come around. Kind of makes her hair, not her hair, but her horns look like it's like pigtails. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and have again a circular vignette. Good. So she's got spots, so we go to nope, that's part of her Let's go ahead and have that finger come up. Now what I'm doing, as you see, I've stopped really doing the whole stroke thing with my arm. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting in some of the more delicate details, and that involves me utilizing my wrist. I still, I'm not doing this with my fingers. I'm still utilizing and kind of locking my hand a little bit. And that helps me work a little bit faster. Some grass, maybe. To find this front foot a little bit better with the toes. Okay. Sharpen the pencil. Here's the sound we all don't like. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and where is my. Where is it? No. some ebony pencils. These are really good. If you don't know uh, the ebony uh, by Prismacolor, again it's graphite, but it's it's got a, a very awesome clay in it. That it, it smears, but it doesn't smear as much as let's say pure graphite. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting in some of the shading on her little face. I'm not going to go and do markers on this just because of the graphite would get stuck into the felt of the marker. And I don't want to ruin, <laughs> ruin my marker. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just literally drawing, you know, in some of these values to kind of push and pull You know, these are fun. I love doing drawings like this because it's just so simple and fun. You know, and you can get in. Now I do have pure graphite pencils with no wood. So I don't know where they are though. I thought I brought some out. Hmm. You know how it goes. You have so many different types of art utensils. A lot of times you don't know where they all go. So, I'll have to pull some out next time. So let's go ahead and do this. I got some flowers right here. in some of that value. And you see, I can feel it. See, there's an artifact in there. I just felt it. Just a little bit of piece of hard clay that you don't get whenever you utilize the Palomino. And for those of you who want to shade a larger area and you don't want to sit here and see all these disgusting lines, just turn your pencil on the side and you get a bigger surface area. And look at that. You get such a nice... value applicator 
and then you can see it's bringing out the texture of the paper a lot. Let's give her a little. And if it's too sharp and you're like, oh, I just have a little piece of paper to the side so that you can kind of dull it down a little bit. And that'll really help you out, you know, whenever you're doing your drawing, your drawings. Let's go ahead and shade these in a little bit. Just a fun little happy monster. You know, and what I could do with this is basically take a photo of it, you know, drag it into Procreate or one of those other programs. Redo the line. And come out, you know, apply color. Have some fun with it. I'm actually kind of liking how this looks. This is very simple. Very simple shape structure. You know? Let's go ahead and do this ribbon. Right here, we'll color that, not color it in, we're gonna shade it in. Okay, here's that ribbon. Okay. Okay. Hopefully my computer is just about done. I got work to do, man. Like I said, this now see here's a little bit of an anomaly. You see there's a disconnect. You see where it comes out? It really needs to be balanced a little bit better right there. So what I'll do is I'll come here, here, there we go. Much better. <coughs> Excuse me. Comes here. There we go. See, you gotta have that thumb. Don't know where that thumb is. Where does the thumb go? Maybe it's just hidden. So now I'll go ahead and start shoring up some of these darker lines to kind of push and pull. And with this Palomino pencil, you've got that really dark graphite and it's so nice. You can just start putting in some of those darker values. Hmm. His name, what is the cow's name? But he's not really a cow, he's a creature. Edwin, his name's Edwin, and what's her name? She's gotta have a name. Edwina? <laughs> I don't know. Edwina? Okay, so now what you can do, if you have a stump, if you know what a stump is, it's basically some paper that's wrapped up really tight and it looks like a, a white um, uh, looks like a white piece of paper that's been folded up and you can shade or not shade you can smear some of the graphite but if you don't have that you just take your finger you put some of that some of your finger to good use and make sure you don't touch your face you know Okay, I think that's where I wanted to land for you guys today. Just a fun little Halloween inspired drawing, you know. I could have her holding, you know, maybe she's holding a bucket. A jack o lantern bucket, yeah. See what happens? I keep drawing on it. And then suddenly an idea comes. You know? Just something simple. Just something fun. You know? 
as an illustrator, sometimes I get so caught up in deadlines, I get so caught up in the money-making aspect of it, that I forget to have fun. And that's basically where I need to go. I need to start having more fun. Right? Here we go. And... There we go. You know, color that in a little bit. Excuse me, shade. I gotta shade that in a little bit. Maybe we want a couple teeth here and there. Okay, that's good. Ha, <laughs> she's like, trick or treat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's like, trick or treat. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Alrighty. I might have to scan this in and do the line and, you know, or not. Either way, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so now, just put a little bit of shading here and there where I think it needs to happen. You know, maybe a little shadow on the bottom. You know, some cast shadows down here. <laughs> All right, you guys. Please like and subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell, because if you don't, then you will not know that there's a new video. And even though I've got a decent amount of subscribers, my viewership is still down just because people just don't know I have a video. You know, I think it has to do with the algorithm. I think it's like 60 likes or 90 likes or something like that before it'll get blasted out to the subscribers. So definitely do that for me so we can get this channel grown and get more stuff out to you guys. Man, if I could do this all the time, it'd be so much fun. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. And of course, one of the things you don't realize whenever you're doing an illustration is, and using studio lights, is the fact that sometimes you get a little bit of reflectiveness. So my apologies for that. The graphite is super reflective. So this is the wrap up. Thank you again for visiting the channel. And go out and draw something fun. Something seasonal. You know, something scary. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon.